I'm Kelly Gatch with Field & Stream, and I'm on the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, almost an hour south of New Orleans. Today, we are involved in the derelict crab trap cleanup. Crab traps have been the dominant gear for commercial blue crabbers since the mid-1960s. After so much time, derelict and abandoned traps continue to catch and kill redfish, speckled trout, flounder, and other marine life. Led by 2010 Heroes of Conservation finalist John Walther of the Coastal Conservation Association of Louisiana, today's Hero for a Day volunteers will remove these traps. Crab traps have become abandoned for a multitude of reasons. Sometimes the fishermen lose track of them. Sometimes storms move them to different areas. Sometimes they lose their float lines and drift up on the shore. Y'all come on. We have a map here. Just go anywhere you want to go. If you've got a favorite place that you know where the traps are, go for it. When you get a boatload of traps, bring them back. So we have about 100 volunteers down here and about 50 boats. There's no way to know how many traps are out there. It's in the thousands. My son Carter will be pulling a lot of them out. I'm out here to have fun and pick up the crab traps and help the environment. I'm not an angler myself. You know, it's good for me to come out and contribute what I can to help out. I'm out here to enjoy it. Have fun. We got a big haul coming here with two of our CCA volunteers. Well, that's, a, that's a good haul. Thank you, guys. We got ourselves an abandoned trap. Let's uh, take a look at this. And... It's important to remove these abandoned traps because of a number of reasons. These traps continue to catch even though they're not being tended to. They become a cyclical killing machine. A uh, fish will swim in, can't get out, it dies and becomes bait for other fish and other crabs and it's just a continuous cycle of uh, removing resources from the environment. This is a partnership between the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries, LSU's Sea Grant Program, CCA, and other organizations from around Louisiana. I just love to come down here and catch redfish and speckled trout. I mean, it's a great place. I love being on the water, whether I fish or not. Any trap remaining within the closure area during the closure period is considered abandoned and can be removed by anyone. Now, this type of program is a win-win for everyone. They're ugly, I hate them, and uh, I wish they'd all go away. <laughs> hey, Rich, one of our good CCA members, always out here supporting our efforts. Mr. Rich invited me to come fishing while we were down here, so I jumped on it and figured if I could get some opportunity to do some volunteer work for CCA, I could do it too. I think I got something wrapped around my prop. This is exactly what we're trying to prevent, and here we are out here, and we're a victim to one of these derelict traps. They are a major pain. <laughs> Getting the local volunteers is essential. Both commercial fishermen as well as recreational fishermen, they're the ones that really know these waters the best. The marsh really is a maze. So they're able to go out, know where to look, and can bring back a ton of traps very quickly for us. Yeah, so here's all the traps we caught, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have some more. helping the environment, they're doing a great thing, and they're having some fun along the way. Great day. We had a boot just driving around, watching everything going by, and it was a nice day. They were doing such a great job of getting them out of there. Each time we came in with fewer. We 
We have a pretty good cooking team, and we do this as a service to the volunteers that take away from their time, and we just hope everybody enjoys it. Food was amazing. I think that's the best jambalaya I've had in a very long time. We collected over 747 traps today. Today's volunteers are valiantly doing their part to make the Louisiana Gulf Coast waters safe, not only for fishermen, but for game fish and other marine life. They're investing in the future of this beautiful, rich coastal area simply by putting in a day's work. We want to invite everybody to come down here and share the resource with us because we're glad to have company down here in Louisiana. Check out fieldandstream.com for volunteer opportunities near you. And join us for our next Hero for a Day project, cleaning up an Ohio River tributary in Harrison County, Kentucky.